Before we can run our VAT return, a few simple checks need to be made. So firstly, from our accounting menu, and under the subheading accounting, go into provisional transactions and just check there are no transactions waiting to be made final. Once this check has been made, you can return back to the desktop. And once again, under our accounting menu, we're going to go under our subheading overview and to our report section. Click view category under the heading VAT. And in the reports area, choose your VAT analysis. Ensure you have selected the correct year and also the return period you wish to select your VAT for by simply clicking on the drop down. If you wish to include any late transactions, just ensure you have checked the tick box and simply click next to run the report. The report will be broken down into purchases and this may include journals, bank transactions and your purchase invoices. And then once we scroll down, you have your sales transaction area with all of those transactions broken down. At the end of the report will display your totals of your VAT return. So when we run our return, I'm expecting to see my return for £9,302.11. So from our main menu once more, to actually run our VAT return, we need to be under our documents area. And under documents, you have your VAT return. So just click this option. In the return area, my year is 2014, which is correct. And the time frame for my VAT return is January to March. So simply just click the orange icon with the white star to start processing your return. You can also go over to the left hand side and click the refresh button. And this will display your VAT return total under the payable receivable column. So as you can see, the totals on my VAT return match my report and just make sure that all transactions are made final because only final transactions will appear on your final VAT return. If you are happy with the figures on your VAT return, you can either file your VAT return through Twinfield or use your logging credentials to go onto the HMRC website and file your VAT return through their gateway.